We have a couple of changes on the 3D side of things that are kind of exciting. Now, when you first look at this at face value, the ability to create a non-orthogonal cut in a solid. If you've done any 3D modeling, you say, well, wait a minute. I've had cut solid for a number of years, and I use it all the time. However, um, a non-orthogonal cut on an element that is a parametric solid or a feature solid was not allowed in past versions. It had to have been a plain solid. So for example, what you see on the screen, if that was a plain solid in an older version of MicroStation, you could, you could do a non-orthogonal cut on it. But once you turn that solid into a feature solid by uh, chamfering uh, you know, the, the edges or filleting the edges or putting a hole through it, all bets were off it be, at that point you couldn't make that change to it. So now you can use a feature and now a parametric solid. We also have added a tool for imprinting. We've always had imprinting or have for a while, but the big difference here is we can choose a mode to offset the edges of it. So kind of like the copy parallel tool, we have an option in here to use the mode as original where it would do a sharp corner, or we can set that to round where we put a nice rounded corner on things for us. Uh, a good example is right here on the uh, edge here uh, where you have a nice round that goes around uh, the corner. Why? Because the mode is set to round. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.